Hi, recently I seen a video about making gears with ordinary metric tap and without any additional drive, like the tap was a drive. I put a link in description for your reference if you're interested. The concept itself was so spectacularly simple that I instantly thought that I need to try it, just introducing a few upgrades that came to my mind. Of course I'm not expecting miracles. Industrial gear hopping machines are made in a certain way for a reason. But considering the setup should take only about a few hours, I think it's worth giving it a shot and check how good or how bad it is. Just give me a moment to build a very simple gear holder and then we can have a look how it works. I'll keep it as simple as possible for now, because I'm still not totally convinced that this method will produce any useful results. And there are several considerations that come to my mind straight away. First of all, that is not a gear hub, obviously, so my gears will certainly not fit any standard gears. But I can live with that, at least for the purpose of test. The other thing is, I'm really not sure if my tiny milling head will be able to withstand those forces. And finally, I only have standard N16 tap with 4 flutes, which means it will periodically lose contact with the gear while machining. So I'm really curious if this operation will be even possible with such a random tool. Actually, the list of potential failure points for this project is quite long. But whatever. Let's do it and we'll see if it's great success or total fail, or something in between, most likely. Cool, housing for bearings nearly ready. Just a quick milling and I can move on. Time for the shaft. Done. So that's the shaft and that's angular contact ball bearing. 
Actually, it's double row bearing, but that's just because I had this one on my shelf. And that's just an ordinary bearing. Great, we'll just secure the shaft, just in case, and time for fun! In the meantime, I prepared this steel blank and one special ingredient, a plastic disc. Why do I need a plastic disc? Well, the intention is to use it as a clutch. Plastic is pretty soft, so it should be not a problem to rush into it with my tool instantly creating sort of warm gear. This way my blank should be on desired speed before it even comes in contact with tap. I will just tilt the milling head by 2 point something degrees to cut straight teeths and that's the whole setup. For sure it's super simple, but the question is, does it work? Well, there is only one way to find out. Ok, with some difficulties, but it finally started. Let's try to make the gear and later I will figure out something how to improve this clutching in step. Looks decent on first glance, but let's have a closer look. Ok, the good news is, it is a gear wheel, but the teeth geometry is far from perfect actually, it's also not consistent. Let's try it one more time, but with one small modification to the process. Instead of smashing it against already running mill, this time I will make initial cut by hand. Hope this will introduce less randomness and at least I will see what's going on. Looks promising, let's see what happens if I start the machine. Ok, interesting change. That definitely doesn't look like a proper involute, not to mention that teeths become significantly thinner. Maybe it's because of a tap, maybe I should have started in the middle, not on the edge, or maybe I just miscalculated something. I need a moment to think it over. You can let me know in the comments what's your idea. But at least shape looks consistent along entire circumference. So never mind for now, let's just do the gear. Ok, maybe it's not a proper gear, but you know what? I still like it. Especially considering how little effort it took me to make it at home. And I already have a few ideas on what can be improved within the process. So there is a good chance that if I try a few more times, I will eventually get there. After all, that was my first attempt to use this method and still I managed to produce two gears that are able to cooperate with each other. So maybe it's not a great success, but it is some sort of success. Successful enough to make me wanna try once more. But I guess it's already enough for one video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.